Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Please be seated. Good evening and welcome to the graduation concert of Army School of Music AIT Class 14-001. My name is Sergeant Lewis Johnson and I will be your Master of Ceremonies for this evening's event. On behalf of the Commandant of the Army School of Music, Lieutenant Colonel Andrew Esch and Command Sergeant Major Frank T. Surrey Jr., Class 14-001 would like to extend a special welcome to the senior leaders honoring us with their presence this evening. Chief Warrant Officer 5, Tom Golf, Chief National Guard Bands. Sergeant Major James Snyder, National Guard Bands. Sergeant Major Robert Burford, Sergeant Major Tradoc Band. Lieutenant Scott Mythen, Executive Officer, Navy School of Music. And Command Master Chief Greg Duzinski, Command Master Chief, Navy School of Music. One of the guiding principles outlined by Chief of Staff of the Army, General Raymond T. Odierno, emphasizes that the Army is a team of teams, groups of soldiers and civilians working to accomplish the mission. Six months ago, most of the soldiers on this stage were regular citizens. Tonight, they will not only complete 10 weeks of challenging and character-defining training, but also will be inducted into a special team, the Army team. As these soldiers begin their careers in public service, no piece better expresses their enthusiasm than composer Philip Sparks' spirited Jubilee Overture.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Commandant of the Army School of Music, Lieutenant Colonel Andrew Esch. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, staff and faculty of the Army School of Music and soon-to-be graduates of AIT Class 14001. It's been a long time coming, right? You guys ready to get out of here? Yeah, I thought so. Um, I'm going to take a minute, so bear with me. I wanted to put, uh, on behalf of all the, all the families and the guests that we have here this evening, I wanted to put into perspective uh, what your loved ones have been undergoing for the last 10 weeks. Uh, the first half of this, or the first part of this concert is, is something I'm sure you all are very familiar with if you've been, you've been following your musicians. Uh, it's very traditional. Uh, this, is, this is what they were comfortable for. We didn't have to teach them that. And so they come to us from all over all over the place with a variety of, of backgrounds and skills and experience and they arrive here we have no control over what what arrives what collection of instruments arrives they just come and when they get here the staff divides them up into small groups which you're going to see called music performance teams and that's where the fun begins because then we make them responsible for for producing products, musical products, that are engaging and entertaining. And we have spent 10 weeks of pushing them outside their comfort zone and, and asking them to do things that, that they would have never certainly volunteered to do, uh, knowingly anyway. Uh, and, and, and so by and large, uh, the rest of this, this evening, this performance is for you to experience just how far they've come and get a taste of, of the kinds of of skills uh, that we've been teaching them. But we've asked them to do this, to, 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 to get outside their comfort zones and, 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 and change their approach to music, which up to this point has been all about them, sitting on a stage, hiding behind a music stand, and playing music, which you will enjoy, of course, but, at, but it's all about them. And we have turned that focus out. So that it is now all about you, about the, the audience, and engaging people. Because that's what army bands do. We engage people. We give voice to our values and our traditions and communicate who we are as a nation in a way that no soldier with a rifle can ever do. That's what they've been doing for the last 10 weeks. I think you will be impressed. And so while you have come here tonight, uh, and we have all come here tonight to witness the end of a process, and an amazing transformation, as I'm sure you will agree, it is that. That's certainly going to happen. But you're also witnessing the beginning of, an, of a new adventure for them. One where they have committed themselves to be part of something far larger than themselves. And I might add something, a commitment that less than 0.5% of our population will ever make. So on behalf of everyone at the Army School of Music, we applaud all of your accomplishments and we are proud to, to welcome you to the team. You are American soldiers. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, the first sergeant of the Army School of Music, First Sergeant Gary Jurgens. Good evening. The cadre of the quarter is awarded to the cadre member who, over the course of the last quarter, best demonstrates outstanding performance, leadership, teamwork, organizational skills, and professionalism in support of the mission of the United States Army School of Music. The cadre of the quarter is selected through a strenuous evaluation conducted by their supervisor, NCIC, and the first sergeant. The cadre member will receive the Department of the Army Certificate of Achievement and the Commandant's Coin of Excellence. 
he or she will also have his or her name permanently displayed on the cadre of the quarter plaque and will be eligible to compete for the United States Army School of Music's cadre of the year. The cadre of the quarter for the Army Basic Music Course, Class 14001, is Sergeant First Class Promotable, Troy Haskell. Please join me in a round of applause for the cadre of the court. In each cycle, one student is recognized as a distinguished honor graduate based on overall academic performance to include the instrumental proficiency assessment and the music performance team assessments. In addition, the student selected for this honor must demonstrate the total soldier concept, which includes performance in the areas of physical fitness, warrior training, field training exercise, military bearing and appearance, personal and professional conduct, attitude, and leadership. The distinguished honor graduate for class 14-001 is Specialist Melissa M. Myers, 282nd Army Band, Fort Jackson, South Carolina. <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Esch and Command Sergeant Major Suri are presenting Specialist Myers with a graduation diploma, a Department of the Army Achievement Medal, and a Commandant Coin of Excellence. The citation on the award reads, the Army Achievement Medal is awarded to Specialist Melissa M. Myers for outstanding achievement in the United States Army School of Music AIT Class 14-001. Distinguished Honor Graduate, Specialist Myers' demonstration of the total soldier concept and meticulous attention to detail is in keeping with the finest traditions of military service. This achievement reflects great credit upon herself, the United States Army School of Music, the United States Army Soldier Support Institute, and the United States Army. Signed, Neil R. Mahabir, Lieutenant Colonel, AG, Commanding. Please join me in a round of applause for the Distinguished Honor Graduate of Class 14-001. We will now present the graduation certificates. As the graduates receive their certificate, you are welcome to come forward for any photographs you may wish to take. We ask, however, that you please hold your applause until the last name is read. The citation on the certificates will read, Department of the Army Certificate of Training. The Commandant Army School of Music takes pleasure in awarding this certificate to the following individuals for completion of the Army Basic Music Course this 20th day of February, 2014. Signed, Lieutenant Colonel Andrew J. Esch, United States Army School of Music, Commandant. Specialist Yolande Allen, 40th Army Band, Colchester, Vermont. Specialist Andrew Andrusco, 10th Mountain Division Band, Fort Drum, New York. Specialist Eduardo Ayala, 40th Infantry Division Band, Los Alamitos, California. Specialist Randall Bishak, 40th Infantry Division Band, Detachment 1, Sacramento, California. Specialist Anthony Brait, 215th Army Band, Fall River, Massachusetts. Specialist Kevin Bresinelli, 85th Army Band, Arlington Heights, Illinois. Specialist Harry Choyne, 1st Infantry Division Band, Fort Riley, Kansas.
Specialist Tramel Cornelius, 3rd Infantry Division Band, Fort Stewart, Georgia. Rock the bar. Rock the bar. Specialist Drew Cox, 440th Army Band, Morrisville, North Carolina. Specialist Jordan Cross, 195th Army Band, Bangor, Maine. <coughs> Specialist James Cutter III, 2nd Infantry Division Band, Weijongbu, South Korea. Specialist Victor De Jesus, 82nd Airborne Division Band, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Specialist Caleb Folks, 132nd Army Band, Madison, Wisconsin. Specialist Trenton Frizzell, U.S. Army Material Command Band, Redstone Arsenal, Alabama. Specialist Darius Glass, 204th Army Band, Vancouver, Washington. Specialist Klein Gohal, 111th Army Band, Pearl City, Hawaii. Specialist Stephen Gonzalez, 108th Army Band, Phoenix, Arizona. Specialist Jordan Hale, U.S. Army Military Intelligence Corps Band, Fort Huachuca, Arizona. Specialist Abraham Hancock, 77th Army Band, Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Specialist Jason Jenkins, 88th Army Band, East Greenwich, Rhode Island. Specialist Julian Jenkins, 8th United States Army Band, Seoul, South Korea. Specialist Kyle Kirkwood, 36th Infantry Division Band, Austin, Texas. Specialist Aaron Lewis, 195th Army Band, Bangor, Maine. Specialist Antonia Locanti, 102nd Army Band, Rockville, Connecticut. Specialist Justin Mann, 392nd Army Band, Fort Lee, Virginia. Specialist Charles McCormick III, 77th Army Band, Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Specialist Christopher McCrary, 151st Army Band, Montgomery, Alabama. Specialist Timothy Emmanuel McGuire, Jr., 41st Army Band, Jackson, Mississippi. Specialist William Lamar Medley, 8th United States Army Band, Seoul, South Korea. Specialist Raquel Nunez Hedrick, 1st Cavalry Division Band, Fort Hood, Texas. Specialist Patrick Nyron, 1st Armored Division Band, Fort Bliss, Texas. Specialist Dustin Owens, 145th Army Band, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Specialist Christina Paskert, 249th Army Band, Morgantown, West Virginia. Specialist Amber Perry, 106th Army Band, Little Rock, Arkansas. Specialist Angela Pitteroff, 195th Army Band, Bangor, Maine. Specialist Brian Ponton, the Army Ground Forces Band, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Specialist Christopher Purvis, 8th United States Army Band, Seoul, South Korea. Specialist Robert Rivero, 13th Army Band, Pembroke Pines, Florida. Four, five. Specialist Christopher Robinson, U.S. Army Signal Corps Band, Fort Gordon, Georgia. Specialist Rafael Rodriguez Irizarry, 248th Army Band, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Specialist David Selmer, 39th Army Band, Manchester, New Hampshire. Specialist Jonah Sharp, 395th Army Band, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. 
Specialist Henry J. Soriano, U.S. Army Japan Band, Camp Zama, Japan. Specialist Hugh Stewart, 319th Army Band, Flushing, New York. Specialist Andrew Tucker, 100th Army Band, Fort Knox, Kentucky. Specialist Martin Van Kloppenberg, 323rd Army Band, Fort Sam Houston, Texas. Specialist Richard Viglucci, the Army Ground Forces Band, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Specialist Christopher Walton, the Army Ground Forces Band, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Specialist Cody Williams, 202nd Army Band, Frankfort, Kentucky. Specialist Alexander Wunderlich, 77th Army Band, Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Specialist Benjamin Young, 40th Infantry Division Band, Los Alamitos, California. And Specialist Sean Nelson, 34th Infantry Division Band, Rosemont, Minnesota. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for Class 14-001. Ladies and gentlemen, we would be remiss not to acknowledge the most important team that we have, the family and friends sitting before us. As Army Chief of Staff General Odierno stresses, the strength of our nation is our Army, the strength of our Army is our soldiers, the strength of our soldiers is our families. That is what makes us Army strong. Because of your love, sacrifice, and support, we stand before you today Army strong. Would the family and friends of AIT Class 14-001 please stand so we can publicly thank you. The distinguished honor graduate will now lead class 14-001 and all Army personnel in reciting the Soldier's Creed. Music Performance Unit is composed of many music performance teams, which we call MPTs in the Army. An MPT is a smaller configuration of Army musicians. Uh, this enables the Music Performance Unit to launch any number of uh, missions simultaneously, often in different locations. It's a group of musicians in a specific genre of music. They provide a different function and a different face for the Army bands. That can cater to specific needs. 
they are more mobile, you can take them and, and it's easier to have them go places and perform and they're able to connect with the audience on a, on a deeper level. MPTs are used in a lot of different settings, especially small settings where a large concert band or ceremonial band won't physically be able to fit. The genres of music that you can play in an MPT are incredibly versatile. We've seen MPTs here that perform from virtually any style, whether it's the woodland quintet or the, the brass choirs. Rock bands, Dixie bands, jazz to classical, country music, small woodwind ensemble music, and they get together as a group outside of the band and go and perform specific missions that the full band wouldn't make sense to perform. It was a group effort to sort through songs and to come up with a set list. I think in the end it was, uh, it was a mutual decision of everybody to come to an agreement as to what songs we would choose. We actually grow more as a family because you're with this group of people for a longer period of time. You really get to know each other and you get to know each other's tendencies musically and off the music as well. We've really come together and, and have a good camaraderie. We've had a lot of fun as well as has made a lot of musical, musical moments together so it's been a lot of fun. Sergeant Collins of Lonely Hearts Club Band. I wrote this song and we're happy to share it with you.
Ripley Danielson, and ladies and gentlemen, it's so hard for me. You know, I'm from Puerto Rico. It's really sometimes difficult to translate and speak English from Spanish at the same time. So that's what happens. But anyway, before we continue, let's give a round of applause to these awesome MPTs. We're not very hard to continue. But I tell you what, it is here when it gets good. Do we have some dancers in the house? Do we? Do we? Are you ready? Oh, you want to dance? Are you a dancer over there? Are you ready to make some noise? I know you guys are sitting down there just looking on people. Are you ready? Are you ready to make some noise? No, 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 hold on. Are you ready to make some noise? But before I ask you this, I want you to make all the noise you can right after I ask. Are you ready? Are you ready, guys? And this is the question.
my favorite aspect um, being here was probably the camaraderie because I there's so many people here and we all got along. I find out some things about myself that I, I didn't think I could do and I'm able to do now and getting to a point where you think you can't go on any further and going through those hoops and going through those obstacles. I was expecting to come here and uh, learn to be proficient at my instrument per, uh, primarily uh, and I really didn't take into account um, that I'd be working so much in MPTs and learning the entertainment aspect of my job. It's a lot more rehearsal and performance. You get to experience what your job is going to actually be like. The hands-on instruction, one-on-one, -on -one, and having an, an instructor sitting at a drum kit next to me. I definitely enjoyed my lessons here at the Army School of Music because I was given new ways and new ideas. Uh, especially in terms of different repertoire and jazz influences that I had never done before. Well, I'm definitely more organized, that's for sure. Um, the Army really teaches you to set goals. I like to think that I stand a little prouder too, wearing the uniform. I know the Army is taking me to that next level. I'm excited to bring what I've learned here, especially like the movement and the stage presence. I'm excited to bring all that back to my band. It's the best AIT in the Army, hands down. The best job in the Army. And so I'm just, I'm honored and just humbled to be here. How about another round of applause for those soldiers who are here? For these Army musicians, tonight's graduation is the beginning of the journey not the destination. Accompanied by Fantasy on Army Strong, the students of class 14-001 would like to share with you some of the moments from this journey.
As we come to the conclusion of tonight's concert, Class 14-001 would like to thank the platoon sergeants, administrative staff, officers, and non-commissioned officers whose hard work has made their experience possible. Additionally, they would like to thank the Naval School of Music for all their support, but all staff and faculty of the United States Army School of Music and the Naval School of Music please stand to be recognized. The Army is a team of teams, and its spirit of partnership and unity extends to all branches of our armed forces. To honor those who serve the United States and all our armed forces, we ask that members of our audience who have served or currently serve in our military to please stand and be recognized when your service song is played. Ladies and gentlemen, the service songs of the United States Armed Forces. Commandant and Command Sergeant Major of the Army School of Music, I would like to thank you for your attendance in this in this.
evening and for your support of AIT Class 14-001. To conclude this evening's festivities, please welcome to the stage Lieutenant Colonel Hesch to conduct the National March of the United States, the Stars and Stripes Forever. <laughs> 